Hey, what's going on? This is Wendell with Work From Home Tech. This video, we're going to talk about special use cases for chat GPT or large language models like Olama, like I had in the last video that I did. You can apply a use case such as creating a resume that is specific to a job position that you're going for, the specific skills that you have, aligning them with the skills in the job listing, the location you prefer, align with different locations that are out there on the web, in the positions, your experience in the workplace, aligning that with the position that you're applying for, and then finally creating a cover page that is specific to the position that you're going for. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at ChatGPT. So on the main screen of ChatGPT, when you first log in, whether you log in with a free subscription or a paid subscription, you'll see something similar to this. If you have used it before, you'll see over on the left-hand side all your past GPTs. I just gone ahead and blurred mine out. Uh, but what's important is clicking on the Explore GPT button. Once you click on that, it'll open you up to the Marketplace GPTs, and you can see all the existing uh, chat GPTs in the Marketplace. From here, you simply go over to the green button here and you click on Create GPT. This is gonna allow you to create your own custom GPT that you can use for yourself. Uh, you can share it with your team or you can actually put it in the marketplace if you desire. So I'm gonna click on Chat GPT and take me to the main screen. So what I want to do is I want to basically tell it exactly what I want it to do. So basically what I've done is I've told ChatGPT that I want to allow the user to submit a basic resume with the skills, past job experiences, uh, the desired work location, special interests, personal background. Uh, then the user should be able to submit a job listing and then ChatGPT will match the skills needed in the job listing, the past job experiences, the desired job location with the submitted job listing. ChatGPT should then create a resume that should best match what the user provided and what job listing requires, along with a cover letter that describes how the user best suits the job listings. So I'm going to submit this. It's going to come back. Once this gets complete with updating a GPT, it's going to give you a couple of options. Uh, First option is, you know, hey, is the description okay for this? Do you want it to be something that's public, private, or even posted to the marketplace, which is also an option. So it says, hey, great choice, GPT um, will help users with their resume. Now, there's probably some, some skills or, or uh, some GPTs already in the marketplace for this, uh, but this is going to allow you to put your own information in and as well, um, fine tune this to be perfect to what you need uh, from your resume. So now we have that in here and what we'll do is we've done the create, we'll go to configure. Now if we go to configure, we'll call this resume tailor. Um, helps match resumes with job listing. So ChatGPT already starts to summarize exactly what you're asking it to do. So right here, you can see the GPT assists users with uh, crafting resumes and cover letters, yada, yada, yada. So here's some conversation starters that it's going to show at the beginning. Um, here, you want to come down and you want to go ahead and select code interpreter because one of the things it says here, files may be downloaded when code interpreter is enabled. So in order to download things easy, uh, i.e. download your resumes when you're done, go ahead and select that code interpreter. Now, you may not necessarily need an image generator, which I'll turn that off, and then that should hopefully lower the cost of doing this. And then you want to ensure you enable web browsing if you need web browsing, because one of the ways you could potentially submit your actual job listings is via a URL or a website link to post the job listing itself. Uh, here, 
like I said, if you want to add some conversation starters, you can here. I'm not going to do anything additional. And then once I have that, I can go over here and I can, let's see, upload a photo if you want to, or use Dolly to generate one. I'm not going to do anything. This is going to be personal. Um, what you can do is go ahead and click on create only me. Uh, so you don't accidentally put information out there on the web, which this is automatically going to go to chat GPT. So you have to be careful. Um, the other thing is that you can allow someone to actually get to this if you want to share it. And then of course you can publish it to the store. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say only by me. We hit that. And then there's a published link. Now you can click on view chat GPT and it takes you basically to your resume tailor. Now here you could start saying, um, I want to upload a file and it'll allow you to upload a file. So let's go ahead and try out our resume tailor. So what we'll do is we'll take basically some, uh, resumes. I've Googled resumes and I have it in the second tab and then I've, found a job listing in my third tab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell resume Taylor to use the following resume as a basis. Um, I have this Devin C debit that I'm going to use. And there's a couple of others here as examples, and you can use this to kind of refine, or we can basically call this training if you want to. Uh, but I'm going to post Devin's resume here and it's going to begin to process this and take a look at that and say, yep, I'll use this as the basis uh, for the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, tailor the resume to the following job posting. So I'm going to tell resume Taylor that I'm going to post a job. And after that, I go over here to the tab. I go ahead and I'm going to select this accounting specialist position. Uh, let me open this up so I can copy all of it. So I have this accounting specialist position that I'm going to post. I'm going to copy this and control C. Now I'll go over to post it into chat GPT and we'll get this started so it can process and create a custom resume for me. So you can see it's starting to process and now it's starting to output an actual resume for Devin. So now the resume is being generated and this is giving me Potentially, and I say potentially until you go and verify, potentially a tailored resume for the job position that I posted from ZipRecruiter. So here you can wait for this to get done generating. And once it's done generating, you can take a look at it and do your verification. Now, one thing that uh, I want you to note is there's no cover letter. So what you want to do is you want to go in here and say, hey, please give me a cover letter. Um, one of the things you can do to also make sure this doesn't happen again is you need to tell ChatGPT, if you go up to the top left, hit the pencil and go into edit, say always output an example resume and cover letter whenever a job listing is posted. That way it knows to always give you both and never just give you a resume without the cover letter. So let's go ahead and tell it we want the cover letter and we're going to let it process and work on giving us a cover letter. So here it's saying, sure, no problem. Here's your cover letter for the job posting. So now we have a cover letter and we have a resume. We can take that, we can go refine that and get it ready to submit for this job position. This will help out when you have five or six positions that you're applying for and you wanna get in and get in quick. Uh, just another use case example of chat GPT and AI and how you could utilize it in your daily uh, life for automation. So what can you do if you do need to edit? What you can do is you can go over here to edit again and get back into the resume tailor, go into edit mode. Now, if you need to configure it again, sorry, go back in here and configure it again. You can continue to configure it. Um, you can duplicate it and it keeps version tracking on it. So it will iterate and continue to keep version tracking. Um, 
You can create new actions on here. You can have API keys or auth. Here's a schema into your open AI schema here. Uh, and then there's a privacy policy, et cetera, for using in your resume tailor. Uh, just something to take into account as a use case for using AI to get the most out of it for your potential work from home opportunities you might be seeking or job opportunities you might be seeking. So the important takeaway from this video is two important perspectives because I know it was a lot simpler than the previous video of actually deploying AI. This was simply one use case potentially that can be used for someone looking for employment. But as a technologist, there are two perspectives that you might want to consider when you're looking for employment or you're looking for a career in technology. There are service types or positions that are like help desk or cybersecurity where you're responding to a customer's ask to ask for your services versus someone that's a software developer or front end or DBA developer that's actually producing something as a service for someone. And that kind of goes in general for tools that are out there, such as ChatGPT. You want to look at the tool from a perspective of not simply using the tool or being a consumer of the tool, but also going out learning and producing with the tool and being a producer rather than a consumer. So thanks for watching this video if you made it to the end. If you want to subscribe, you can hit the subscribe button and get more content. Uh, if you like something here, just go ahead and hit that like button and I appreciate that. Take care, have a blessed day, and peace.